This is an FRG ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. John the Baptist, what can we say about him? He was a man who is so well known because he loved God so much and he would do anything, anything in his power to tell the world about the coming of Jesus. He knew Jesus personally, he was his cousin, and he was one of the first encounters with Jesus. He was the one who leapt in his mother's womb when he encountered Jesus for the first time. But of course, as cousins, they would have hung out together, they would have got to know each other, he knew him personally. But he also knew that there was something about Jesus that he couldn't contain was something great about Jesus. He recognized, maybe through listening to Elizabeth, maybe to, through listening to Mary and hearing about him, and maybe even witnessing him for himself, he recognized that Jesus was the Messiah. But here's the thing. He goes out into the wilderness. He goes out into the gardens. He goes out into the marketplaces, and he starts to talk about Jesus as a Messiah. He was the first to do this. Can you imagine how ridiculous that would be? Going through the streets and the wilderness, telling the world, hey, my cousin, my cousin is the Messiah. My, the one who's yet to come, he is the one who is you, the one you've been waiting for. He is God. And how ridiculous that would have sounded. Can you imagine the persecution he would have got for that? Can you imagine how people would have put him down? Can you imagine what people would have been saying about him that he was the madman of the village. Are you the madman of the village? Are you the mad woman of the village? Or are you so quiet and scared and sometimes so contained that, and worried about what people say that you don't allow yourself to be ridiculous? Because today, 2,000 years later, it's still ridiculous for the world to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, that no one can come to the Father except through Him. We know because we have witnessed, like John the Baptist has witnessed. We know because we have seen, like John the Baptist has seen, but yet, are we still or are we quiet? We cannot. We cannot be still. We cannot be quiet. We need to tell our children, we need to tell our grandchildren, we need to tell the world about Jesus, we need to use our platform. John the Baptist used water and baptism, he used his platform to proclaim Jesus. You maybe have a Facebook account, maybe you have a family that you can talk to, maybe you have a workplace. There is your voice, but it's a wilderness voice. What is a voice in the wilderness? It means you shout and it seems like nobody's hearing you. Nobody's listening to you. It's a, a going into a desert and shouting and there's nobody to hear, no one to pay attention. This is John the Baptist, one of the greatest preachers who ever lived, was a voice in the wilderness. So your preaching, your proclamation, your evangelization, don't measure it by the bums on seats, the amount of people that come into the church because of your words. Measure it by the seeds song. Every word you speak to proclaim Jesus is a seed song. We don't see the result of the seeds we sow. We often don't see the fruit of the work that we labor. But you know what? We are not called to bear fruit in, in, in winning souls, in bringing souls. We're, we're called to sow seeds and it is God himself who bears the fruit. It is God himself inside of you can bring the seeds, the good works that you have begun to completion. Don't be afraid. Tell the world about Jesus. The world needs to know. As John the Baptist spoke out and was, was put down for it and, and he felt maybe that he was wasting his time, we too need to do this at all costs. The gospel needs to be proclaimed. And if you don't proclaim it, then it will be a silent gospel. Lord, protect this world from closed mouths, from Christians who don't proclaim your word. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of FRG Ministry partners and donors. Please go to frgministry.com donate to make a donation.